Well, hello, fellow YouTubers. Today, I want to show you how to clean the heads on your reel-to-reel -reel tape deck. You will need two things. You're gonna need some cotton swabs. These are just regular old Q-tips, and you're gonna need isopropyl alcohol. This is isopropyl alcohol. I just put it in a VHS head cleaning solution bottle. Uh, preferably, it should be some alcohol that's 70% or more alcohol content because the more water that's in it the uh, longer it takes to dry off and the first thing we're going to say is do not play a tape on it immediately after cleaning the heads because you'll take the oxide off the tape and you'll just get a bunch of oxide back onto the heads you have to clean your heads because when you play the tape the oxide gets on them and it lowers frequency response and it, it just doesn't sound good it's not good for recording either so the first thing you want to do when you clean your heads is to take the head block off this lower part right here mine you just have to unscrew this little screw on the side and lift it off now you can see the heads I'm sorry that it's dark um, not very good lighting in here but See, on mine, you can move the heads up and down like that. Well, I'm going to move it up. No, I'm going to move the this part down so I can get to the uh, playback record head. And it'll make it a lot easier to get to. I'm going to put the alcohol in a cotton swab. Or usually you would dip it in a cotton swab. but Or dip the cotton swab in the alcohol, but this is how I have to do it. Make sure it's not dripping wet. It's just regular and then put it on there and back and forth motion swab it off right now I'm doing a playback record head and it's really dirty because I see brown coming onto my cotton swab you know I'll move that up by putting the stop lever in position and that gives me a lot more room to get in there now you don't want to just do the heads, you want to clean everything that the tape goes across when it plays. So now I'm going to press down on the bias head, which is the black head. This is a special machine, it has a bias head. There we go. Get that. It's pretty dirty, you can't really see it, but it's got a little bit of brown on there. Uh, get this over here. You might want to try using the other end of the swab now to get it cleaner. Get some clean alcohol on there. Just rub it in there. Do it again. You can never get it too clean. That's the most important part of your deck. Just like that. I go over now to the erase head. It's right here. That's clean. Uh, tape goes across here, here, up in here, along the cap stand, and uh, this roller thing right here goes across all of that, and also the pinch roller. But I don't have pinch roller cleaner. Alcohol hurts a pinch roller, so I'll just clean these pass for the tape. I'm not sure what this is, but I know that the tape probably touches it, so I'm just going to clean it. Yeah, that was brown. Get a new cotton swab. Hmm. Yep, I'm glad I cleaned this because it's pretty dirty. I'm going to try to hold the roller in place so that I could rub the swab across the edge of it. Now I'm going to 
use the other end of this cotton swab. Don't worry about using too many cotton swabs. You're going to have to use plenty of them if you want it to stay clean. There we go. And just do that again. You always want to do it twice. Just to be safe. To get everything off of there. Alright, once I do that, I'm going to move over to the cap stand over here. Which is definitely dirty. I can see that. Actually, this is just a cap stand bushing. You can take off the bushing and do it yourself. Since I uh, only use the bushing, I don't use the 1 and 7 eighths inches up per second feature. I'll just clean the cap stand in my hand like this. Oh, this is the clean side. That should be good. Put it back on here. And that's how you clean your reel to reel tape deck. Except you just want to put this back on here after it's done drying, which I'm sure this is all done drying by now. And don't use it for about, I would say, 10 or 15 minutes just to be safe. You don't want to get your tapes or your recorder. Dirty again.